So that's my character, that's too much information for now. Where are my skills, my abilities? Where Maybe there's an auto attack ability that I don't see. There's a shock, there's a thrash that strikes the target twice. Uh, where would I have my abilities? Character sheet, inventory abilities on P. And uh, quick travel takes you to a discovered bind point for, of your choosing. That's very useful. Uh, inspires the allied target, revive, revive. Uh, Mark of power, saber strike. Yeah, so looks like I can't auto attack here, which is maybe it's it's keeping me more interested in the game then because I have to spam the I can't just uh, press attack and s go AFK. That might be good. Hmm. To the top of the whatever it is is the way here. Oh my god, it's lagging! It's lagging! It's lagging! Okay, it's not lagging anymore. That was temporary. Okay, so I'm gonna spam my one, and let's see my my uh, thrash. Bow, bow. And looks like I used some of that presence, is it? So this is the tomb. I'm gonna go to the tomb. This is Clogslur Forager. It's a Clogslur, okay? So don't confuse it with anything else, because it's a Clogslur. That's what it is, and that's what it's supposed to be called. Okay, what do I have here? It's a sprint. And looks like I can just toggle it and it doesn't cost me anything, which is... I like it when uh, there are travel-specific abilities that are just free and available. It makes makes the game more dynamic. What's up, Sergeant? Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corriban Regiment. Can I... can I talk to you? Permission Excuse granted. You, Sergeant. Thank you. You're one of the slaves Harkin brought in on the last transport, right? Here to prove yourself to the bloodthirsty overseers? Correct. Yes, that's me, all right. Well, here's your chance to not only show off for the overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. Mm. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. Well, mouths bigger than your head. Yeah, I've lost but three still. of good men fighting them. They come in packs, they just. they'll swallow a man whole. Uh, they don't swallow a man whole if there is a dead body. Seriously, that's a, that's a piece of bull that's a boon that's a whatever it is. I'm not buying any of that. A frontal assault not working. And I suggest you try a new strategy. Look, we, I've identified the enemy's weak spot, but it's not easy to get at. The damned claw slugs breed so fast, there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. Yeah, they went insane. We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. Ah, uh, your tactics may be flawed. Are you sure this plan of yours will actually work? I don't know. I have to hope so. Without breeding chambers, the claw slugs lose the numbers. Then we can wipe them out. Don't underestimate those claw slugs, sir. They're they're smarter than they it's, look. It's really interesting that even though I am a slave and being pushed around, the military is still scared of me and, uh, and uh, very very cautious when talking to me and respectful. So that's very, very interesting. I wonder how the, the politics in the Sith work. I pro probably guys without power are being choked to death by the guys in powers with power, so I might still be higher up in the food chain than him. So, am I supposed to... I can... I have to kill the claw slugs and detonate the explosives. Where are the explosives? In this map, there's a data pad, seriously? And to Caribbean, and the explosives are right behind me? What? They're here. Okay, so I'm supposed to go there. They don't attack me, but they do attack me. Okay, do I seriously not have an auto-attack? If I just... Yeah, if I let go of my mouse, it's not attacking anymore. So that's pretty fire. Okay, wh wh what's with the lighting? Oh wow, that's strong. Okay. Got that done. What's that? What's that? What was that? Oh, I, I reached the level. And what did I gain? Okay, I know how to walk, seriously. Okay, okay, okay. I know how to walk, seriously. I, I, I know how to walk. Leveling your hack character. Your health and some of your core attributes have increased. And I can find a trainer just like in WoW. And then on in the trainer, I can grab some more skills. So let's electrocute some stuff. 
zapping him in the face. Thrashing the double hit. More thrashing. I'm gonna thrash these guys. Zapping him. Oh. Okay, what did I loot? What did I loot? A slimy meat? Ah, just grey stuff. I wonder if there are add-ons to that, like like loot cleaner for WoW. It's gonna be really useful if there's grey stuff. I I kind of think this this grey loot is a very annoying mechanic in, in the MMORPGs. I would prefer the game without it, because it just creates all this time I have to spend managing my loot instead of fighting and doing dynamic stuff. I really liked uh, Kingdoms of Amalur in that regard. I had almost no trouble in Kingdoms of Amalur with the with uh, managing my loot because my inventory was infinite and it was so easy to sell stuff and there was no useless loot or, or at least not too much of it oh 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 shit get out get out get out it wasn't that such a big explosion okay so nothing fell from the ceiling so I just detonated a bunch of eggs and that's it Look, there's so much more eggs uh, that's, that was kinda anticlimactic such a small, exp such a small explosion. Seriously, there's so many eggs. What difference could it possibly make to blow up a few of them? Hey, guy, you're a Sith warrior, and you know what I am? I am an Inquisitor. This military trembles before me, even though I'm just a slave. Huh? I can't change the direction of a jump once I jump. I heard the explosions when you set off the charges. Oh, did you? Standing, sir. Oh, thank you. I'll this post until All right. I'm relieved, sir. Got myself some acolyte boots. I'll yeah, you hold this post, post until I'm relieved, sir. And uh, what's up, guy? At last, an inquisitor I'm trainer. More force lightning. Yeah. Oh, nice. So that's another one. That's not shock. So shock is a 45 force ability. So it costs me 45 force. Force? What? What's the difference between force and presence? Hmm. Because. Maybe presence is my health. Oh yeah. So uh, and and force lightning is something of uh, similar cooldown, but it's a damage over time. So let's see how the force lightning. Okay, zapping some more, thrashing some more. Sounds are really cool in this game, by the way. I love the sounds of lightsabers. I wonder if it's gonna get boring after a couple of hours of gameplay, but for now, I absolutely love it. What's this? It's a data pad. Imperial Edict. Mercenaries have taken advantage of the claw infestation in the tomb of uh, Ajantapal, stealing valuable artifacts from the in-depth uh, in depth the situation wholly, ac wholly unacceptable. You are authorized to use deadly force to send these mercenaries a message that further... Okay. Okay. I accept. It's a quest. So it was a quest from the data pad because this guy obviously couldn't handle it. He was eaten until only a skeleton was was re remained. So there are looters, and I'm gonna take care of the looters with my zap. How do you like them apples? Looter sentry is shooting at me. Oh, and oh my god, it's so cool! I can parry the the gunshots with my saber sometimes. Look at this! I I'm 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 blocking some of this stuff. That's so cool. But then I have to remember to attack. I have a feeling that if I play this game a lot, my hands are gonna hurt really bad because I have to press all these buttons to to attack. So I don't like that one one bit. That that seems to suck. You know, it's cool when I have to spam something for five minutes, but if I have to spam it for five hours, it's no longer cool. That's that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, let's see. Dark Acolyte's boots, let's just t put them on. A ration pack that I'm supposed to recover, I think? No. It can be sold to a vendor. So it's just another sellable grey item. And then I have the medipacks that I'm going to put on my quick hotkeys. And then I have all these abilities that I'm not using. Let's, let's see this sprint thing. And uh, Mark of Power increases the targets. Can I just target myself? Seriously. And Mark of Power myself. Cool, that's a buff. And then I can... Seethe. If I want to heal myself. Okay. Taking care of more mercenaries. Oh, did they just jump from the ceiling? 
What's there? I, I could loot something. Okay, got it. Some more gray stuff. Smashing. Smashing face. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my uh, magic abilities on my Q and E. And it's gonna make it way more convenient. I also have two mouse buttons that I can bind my abilities to as well. So I really like making making my hotbar as accessible as possible. Okay, so I have to recover artifacts which are probably somewhere on the ground for me to pick up. Come on, come on, zap him. Where are the artifacts? The facts of the arty. Hmm, there seems to be something that's shining. And if it's shining, then the developers of the game probably want me to take a look at it. But other than that, I don't see any artifacts. Is that an artifact, or are they just screwing around? I think they're just screwing around, so I'm gonna backstab them quick. Real quick. Ah! I wonder, if I stand around, do I block more hits? Let's see. Hey, you! You wanna attack me? Let's see. Okay, I dodged one. Nah, I don't block any more hits. I'm just gonna keep smashing him. Keep whacking him. And there's still no artifacts, so... What the hell? WT hell. Oh, and I... I kinda didn't bind my keys properly, somehow. Strangely enough. So let's fix that. Uh, P. Sith Inquisitor. This is Shog, so Force Lightning in here. Come on, what the hell? That's so weird. Force lightning. Yeah, exactly what I meant. I'm gonna see it for a little bit. I'll be a little bit evil for a little while. And that's a tomb looter. And there's still no artifacts. Where are the artifacts? Seriously, maybe this guy stole all the artifacts and I can't kill him. Oh, that's no cool. That's no cool, bro. Uh, Imperial Addict. Okay, so the quest leads me there. It's kind of cool that I ca I can see on the map where the quests are. Something something that I have to I would have to download a, an add-on for in World of Warcraft. Or maybe well, I'm talking about World of Warcraft because. Oh, okay. So after I, oh oh shit. I just did something. Aha! I see. So the Sith warriors and Inquisitors enter. Enter the same area, but warriors go here for their trial, and inquisitors go here for their trial, and I go here for the Imperial Addict quest to find the artifacts. So I keep comparing this to WoW because it's the only MMORPG I really played extensively, but I did play it like a year ago, so if my information on WoW is not up to date, then I, I don't apologize, but uh, just don't waste your time criticizing me because yes, I am not up to date on WoW. I almost never apologize. That's, that's just kind of who I am. Like I am always doing, making the best decision at the moment. So why would I apologize for for doing the best decision I can? Makes no sense. I can change my mind, but apologizing? Hmm. I always have the best intentions in mind anyway. So why apologize for them? Let's. Where are these artifacts? Seriously, there's there's something on the map. Oh, I see. So there's there's a like a quest zone. So it's it's totally a quest helper from WoW, but it's integrated into the UI, which I really like. Oh, did he just kind of whack me with a really powerful hit? Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna zap him with electricity. 